Okay, we should be live. Make sure my volume's off over here. Oh dear, there we go. And see if we are live live, or just somewhat live. Let's see. Cha-cha-cha. Oh goodness. I have some things to show you guys. If I can make sure that all the bells and whistles are dinging and donging. Here we go. Hello, Christina, my sweet friend. How are you? I'm live. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did y'all know? Did, did you see this right here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's as high as I can go, but hey. It's growing back. Okay, this is awesome. I don't know why this is here because I was cleaning off my desk and it belongs over there. All right. Boy, do I have some things to share with you guys tonight. Let me grab this. Okay, we'll put that over there so I don't spoil it. Excited to see your designs. Thank you, Christina. How are you doing? How's everything? How was LG's, um, you know, oh, there's Tris. Hey, hey. By yes, yes. I didn't realize that you were in for a biopsy. I saw that today, and I was just so thankful, but I didn't have a opportunity to pray about it because I didn't know, but that's okay. Thankful, thankful. How did LG turn out um, with Tess? And hey, Teresa, good to see you here. Okay, so I've got some new techniques to show you tonight. Well, it's, it, I don't know how new it is, but um, if, if I don't think anybody watches as many crafting videos as I do. So it might be new to y'all. Um, <laughs> I watch a ton. Okay, so hopefully we've got good internet tonight, and um, I guess we'll just start rolling with it. Let's see, it's 8.02, and Christina says, great, about the same. Awesome, awesome, good to hear, and I guess, well, I'll tell you real quick about, about my day. Went to physical therapy this morning, and um, he didn't kill me, didn't leave me for dead at the curb like a couple of weeks ago. That's right. Um, so I think in maybe two weeks, we're going to elevate it to, um, you know, to doing some stuff like what they call strength training. And I'm going to have to do things like this with, with like those stretchy strap things. I don't know. I don't even know if they trust me with that kind of thing. I don't know. We'll find out. And, um, I've got more motion, less discomfort. I did not have to take any kind of pain pills after therapy today, so that was really good. Um, then um, Ninja Man and I went to lunch, which was fabulous. Um, we went, went, went in with our faces covered, you know, because we're old. Hello. And because of Wren. Hello. I mean, we got to we got to be sure that we're as safe as we can be for her. Regardless, I don't even know what the news is saying. I, I don't know. I don't know if anybody's protesting. I don't know if anybody's doing anything. I don't want to know. Um, just the fact that, um, are you doing your exercise? Oh, absolutely. Angela's in here. Hey, Angela. Just saw you. Um, yes, I'm doing the exercises every single day. He had me going twice a day, but I'm telling you, I spent about three or four days literally just sitting there afraid to move like I stayed in my recliner I kept ice on it because I was afraid that one of those um um well the doctor called them screws but he's also called them um ah it'll come out in a little bit at an inappropriate time is when I'll remember it but anyway he's got six of them in there and I won't go into all the graphics but it's pretty freaky so I was sitting there thinking that, um, you know, I had damaged them and that one was just going to like shoot out in my sleep. I don't know. I don't even know. When in fact, 
No, we had just stretched the absolute stew out of my shoulder. That's what had happened. And it was okay, but, you know, it was a Friday, and I had to sit Saturday and Sunday, you know. I mean, I didn't have to sit, but I sat. Um, yes, um, the news is so depressing, Christina, and I'm, I'm only watching fun stuff. I'm listening to uh, Chuck Smith. He's the founder of Calvary Chapel, which is where we attend. He's He was way out in California. Um, he's passed away now, but I'm listening to his sermons. I love listening to um, Unashamed with the Duck Dynasty guys. Um, I just I just love listening to them. I, I don't care what they're talking about. Most of the time it's about faith. And... Um, and I, I watch that, and I watch my crafting videos, and a couple of junky bubblegummy kind of TV shows. That's about it. But um, but yeah. So the exercise is helping, and um, so I had put in a call to, I put in a call to my physical therapist. Left a message on Sunday. He didn't call me back till Tuesday. So I had to just worry. Not really worry, but I was really hurting y'all, and I just said I'm taking a break. I'm making an official decision right here, and um, I took a break, and I did not do my physical therapy for three whole days. Um, so when he called and he said, "No, you're you're okay. Those things aren't coming out," because I felt a whole lot better after resting my shoulder, and we're taking it a lot easier now. But I think that's just short lived. I think he's just gonna almost kill me and kick me to the curb. Okay. Because we gotta, I gotta go into the strength training thing. Okay, enough about me. So, um, let's look at what's going on. I've got a lot to share tonight, so I think I'll do show and tell first. And let's go with. Okay, I've got several cards here that, um, and I'm trying to watch your comments. Y'all keep your eyes on Kathy. <laughs> I got several. Um, Several things to show you. Lots of little cards uh, for different purposes, okay? This one is one I made today for a card challenge. The challenge was to put, like, some sort of um, metal or fabric or something like that on it. And, okay, this little heart-shaped thing is, is really giving me a fit. But anyway, so I got to fix it again. Y'all, I use glue dots and it's just, but it held together long enough for me to video it for the challenge or rather photograph, photograph it for the challenge. So, um, the fabric or whatever is the twine. Let me get my little, my scary dental tool. Please hold. Okay. The twine right here and the twine right there. And then the, um, metal right here. I have a metal punch, and you see it's got hearts on it because they're besties. So I just put hearts on it. I could have put the puppy dog's name or the kitty cat's name, but because they're friends. So that was my entry into this week's challenge in a group that I'm in. And the reason I joined this group um, to do a challenge is because I could hardly move my hand, and I just needed to do something. You know, I, I had to do something crafty-wise and, um, let's see. My puppy is so funny laying on the sofa. He has to get a little closer. He's sneakily creeping forward. That's so cute. I love it. I love it. So, yeah, I've been doing these challenges, and my first few were just so basic. But, hey, it got me in my studio, and it got me working. So, I love that. Okay. So, I bought this set. Um, let me see if it's back here. Sorry, please hold. Oh, y'all. I gotta show y'all a couple of things. Hold on. Okay, these are not Stampin' Up, but it happens, y'all. It happens. When Stampin' Up sells this, I won't buy it from somebody else, okay? This is from Sweet and Sassy Stamps, and I hope the glare is not too much on there. It's a faith-based stamped. He calms the storm in me. And then Mark 4.39, And he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea, Peace, be still, and the wind cease. And there was a great calm. I say that as it's thundering and lightning outside. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Um, his grace abounds in deepest waters. Even the wind and sea obey him. That's Mark 441. And it's got to be there. Um, my anchor holds. His love is deeper than the ocean. This is called Peace Be Still. And it's by Sweet and Sassy Stamps. And I just had to have this set. And here's the first card I made with it. Let's see if I can get it right there. I love everything nautical. Now, I prefer... Um, oh, hey, Lisa. Um, Christina, I love this set, too. Um, but I do prefer, like, a vintage ship, a clipper ship, something like that. Oh. Oh, it says my, my video ended. Am I still with you guys? Oh, not again. Come on. Come on. No, it says I'm... Hold on. Am I still live? I can't tell. All right, hold on, y'all. We may have more problems. Boy, if, if this is going to keep up... Yeah, there I am. I'm live. Why did it tell me it had ended? Did it do anything with y'all? That's so weird. Um... Yeah, it says I'm here. You're good. Okay, thank you. I'm sorry, y'all, because over here, on, I've got I've got my iPad right here that y'all see me on. I've got my phone up here that's doing the split screen. And then I've got a um, laptop over there so I can see your comments. <sighs> okay, the laptop is the one that said we're done. I prefer clipper ships, vintage ships, things like that. I love lighthouses, things like that. But I figured, okay, this is the ship they gave me, the sailboat. That's what I'm going to use. Okay. Whew. All right, so I'll try not to be so long on the next one. Okay, y'all, this is... Let me tell you all about this company. They're, they're, called, they're called the Ink Road Stamps. They have some very offensive stamps that I have no idea what people do with them. They have controversial stamps. They have that kind of stuff too. They also have some pretty stinking funny stuff. I'm very, very careful of what I choose because I don't really want to support this, but I have no, no idea where else I could get something like this. So who has seen The Mandalorian on Disney? Has anybody seen on the Disney Channel The Mandalorian? I'm waiting to see anybody answering. And I know I'm just a few seconds ahead of you. Um, still here. Oh, hi, Michelle. I have to keep scrolling to see y'all. Okay, so if you have not seen The Mandalorian, what it is, there is a baby in it that looks like Yoda. And basically, it is the same... Um, same... Uh, lineage as Yoda. It's not necessarily Yoda. All right. And the Mandalorian. Yes, Tris. Okay. Hi, Lisa. The Mandalorian um, is, is like a bounty hunter. And I'm just gonna be real brief trying to tell you what this is about. Because if you don't know, you won't get it. He's a bounty hunter. And he found this. He, he was able to rescue this baby Yoda thing. I'm gonna call it baby Yoda. But hardcore Star Wars fans say it's not. Okay, so he rescued this baby Yoda, and it is cute as a button. Well, okay, baby Yoda floats around in this little, this little ball that opens at the top. Okay, so that's all I'm going to tell you. So here we go. This is the Ink Road stamps, and like I said, they are... I'm not recommending them because you're going to see some really nasty stuff on their page. Um, anyway, but I love this. It's Yoda, the baby Yoda, with the mask on. And it says, they see me rolling. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yoda, I know, I know. And, but, you know, it's it's in Yoda's, what do you call it? Like, we're humans and they are species. It's Yoda's species. Um, anyone has a coffee cough and me, is that you, Rona? I survived the 2020 poop op poop apocalypse, quarantine and snacky snacks. And he's got his little toilet paper roll and his mask. And it's been blank days since pants. 
and um, what I expected the 2020s to look like and what they actually look like. It's just funny. It's just funny. Okay. All right. Baby Yoda. Oh, hey, Connor. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Connor's in here. Connor's got the card. I made a card. Actually, no, I made two because I sent one to my grandkids. I made him one of these because Connor had to have it. Had to have it. I mean, it was like I could not own this set and not make him one. Okay, so here, I don't know if I showed these before because my internet cut out last time. But these are my thank you notes. Some of my thank you notes that I'm sending out to my 31 customers. I sent a stack out. And if you're one of my 31 cus customers, I think you probably would have gotten one. If you had not already gotten one back in April. Or maybe you got two. I don't know. Okay, so these are some thank you notes. All right. Then I participated in a card swap. Oh, and we're going to make, in case Tris has to go to bed early, we're going to make this card tonight. Okay? So I just want him to see it. And there's some cool techniques on that. All right. So we had to make like 12 or 13 cards. Did I show these last week, y'all? Gosh, it seems so familiar. Maybe I did. All right. I'll go through them pretty quick then. This one. It's a, they call this a fun fold. And y'all, somebody tell me if I showed it. It's possible the baby is Yoda's offspring. Yes, exactly. Which Yoda, you know, he should have, he should have family, right? Um, here's another one. And it's really pretty. Um, yeah, so this was a card challenge. I sent a bunch of cards in, and they sent a bunch of cards back. This one's got vellum on the inside, and love that card. Angela, did I show these last time? Tell me before I keep going, because I don't want y'all to miss them. Here's um, this paper that Angela and I love. It says, um, thanks from the bottom of my heart and it's um you can tell it's been embossed heat embossed see how shiny yep and she's got some bling there and I'm refreshing your comments to see all right hold on hold on oh oh I know why it's familiar because my friend Heather and I were crafting and I showed her y'all haven't seen these so maybe I should slow down a little bit Oh, you're welcome, uh, Teresa. You're so welcome. Thank you. Y'all, Teresa texts me every day to encourage me. And I just love you, Teresa. Thank you for that. Um, Makes me want to cry. <laughs> but I won't do that right now. Okay. Uh, there's been too many things today to cry about. And I'm really going to not cry. Okay? All right. Uh, just, just junk. You know, just junk. Okay, so this is using the Daisy Punch. And they they punched the big one twice and the small one once. And she put it up on a um, Stampin' Dimensional. And I love it. And then here's two of the baby ones. So pretty. And then on the inside is this. Love it. Yeah, so I made like 13. And I sent them to the person collecting all of them. And she sent out she sent some are those daisies yes they are christina and i will show you this is the small daisy punch and you know that drawer at my desk right this is the large daisy punch so what she did she stamped it with the daisy stamp and she punched them out two of these one of these for the big flower, and then two of these for the small flower. Like, I will use these from now on. I just know I will. So, one lady collected everybody's cards. And she had, like, um, the background stamp. Are you talking about this background stamp? I think this is a new um, background, Angela, and I'll check on it. Yaddle could be the mother. She was on Jedi Council with Yoda. She appears... <gasps> I forgot about her, Tris. I totally forgot. I'm going to have to tell Ninja Man that. Yeah, because we, 
We've had a talk about Baby Yoda, and I still want to call it Baby Yoda. No crying in craft videos. That's right. Yeah, baby. Um, yeah, so this is a background stamp. Angela, we'll talk about that one. Um, me and you will. Um, this is another one to an A-plus teacher, which I guess I got to figure out who's a teacher. I love the chicken wire. That looks like it's cardstock, not a stamp. Very nice. So, yeah, the, the lady got, like, 13 piles. Like, this woman sent 13, this one sent 13, and this one sent 13. And then the lady just went one, two, three, and just gave us all a whole selection of cards. Okay, this one is very sturdy. Very, very nice. Very sturdy. You see the, um, the gold goodies on there? Um, you can actually buy these like this. Oh, while I'm thinking about it, tomorrow is the last day, if you have not joined Stampin' Up, that you can join for $99. You get $125 worth of goodies and a free bundle of your choice from the new catalog. Of your choice. All right? That's right. And you can see the new, um, you can see the new seasonal catalog that just came out last Wednesday, I think. Um, this is a neat set for guys, all geared up. I've got this set. I love the way they did this, and I'll probably copy this this card. Um, we even have little metal embellishments. Um, we have a wrench and the nuts and bolts, things like that. Okay, here's another one. Oh, come on. Oh, she sent the whole works over here. Oh, boy. Look at that. She sent me an envelope, which is pretty cool because guess who's out of envelopes? Mm -hmm. Yeah, me. Um, yeah, so we're going to actually use this flower tonight. That's that same set, y'all. Woohoo. Look at the difference in the type of card you can make with them. Yeah, you need the sunflower set. Tris, sign up. I need that stuff. Yeah, true story. Tris, you could. Seriously, you could sign up and ask Christina how much I nag you. Never. Just like, hey, sign up, get her that set, boom. And, well, she's got 20% off already. Okay. And, oops, stuck that over there. Hold on. Please hold. We've only got a couple more. Three, maybe four. Okay, so here's another one. And see, y'all know when you get to the party and you, you didn't realize that nobody was going to wear a costume, but you did? Mm -hmm. That's kind of how I fe felt when I sent my cards because I didn't send them in these cool, slick, plasticky things because I had run out and I really didn't think about it. It didn't even cross my mind. Pain pills. That's what I'm going to say. That's my excuse. Okay, so this is the new greenery set. It's not called greenery, but that's what I'm going to call it tonight. And um, they've done a bunch of um, die cutting here. That's all they did was die cut these. These are already die cut, the um, the gold Duma Flitchies. These are called, uh-oh, these are called Duma Flitchies. Right there, that, that's a Duma Flitchy. And then um, she used this real pretty cording and she's got a little pearl there. Oh, oops, well, I guess it goes that way. Huh, I would, okay, it goes that way. Sending well wishes your way. I love that font, so pretty, okay. Alrighty, and then we got this person who was also out of those. Clearly, they were out of the plastic things too, but they had better thought than I did. They at least used a baggie. So this is a neat technique. She's got ribbon right here and a strip of the paper here. And uh, this is popped up. And let's see what's in it. Oh, she used just a strip right there. Love it, love it. All right. And this is the last one of these. And my basket over here, I've got one extra to show you. Forever Fern, that's what I've been trying to remember the name of. This, um, this design here is, this is on designer series paper. But you get a stamp with it too that you can, um, why am I telling you? Hello right here it just happened to be over here so this stamp can be any any color you want it to be it doesn't have to be like this really pretty green or whatever it can be pink isn't that sweet 
I don't, I don't even know why I had this over here. Okay, um, then I celebrated 10 years with Stampin' Up! this June, and they sent me this sweet card, and it's handmade, and um, yeah, 10 years, and it was a sweet card. And then this one, our card ministry, I don't know if I showed you these before or not, um, our card ministry with our church, my friend is taking care of that for me right now because of the whole shoulder thing. And she's mailing out cards and she needed a bunch of thinking of yous. And thinking of yous, thinking of yous, I, I've been thinking us yous, okay? Shut up and eat your bagels. All right, so <laughs> I used to tell my kids that all the time. I'd be like, shut up and eat your bagels. They go, mom, I, I didn't even know what a bagel was, y'all, back then. I found out what a bagel was about 1998. I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed. I didn't know what a bagel was. Still not sure what locks are. I don't know if I want to know. All right. So, yes, I showed you this card. Okay. Thank you, Christina. Okay. That is my show and my tail. My show and tail. Okay. So, let's get on to tonight's card. Bum, bum, bum. So beautiful and kind. Yes, yes. Okay, so here's the thing about this. This is a piece of white cardstock on um, uh, crumb cake. And I've stamped and distressed the cardstock. That two utes. <laughs> that two utes. Go park your car in Harvard Yard. <laughs> Shut up and eat your bagels. So, yeah, this was white, and I've distressed it and done some things that I'm going to do right here live. Yeah. Okay, so we will put this to the side, and the first thing I want to show you is this. The part that's... Let me see if I can turn this paper over so you don't see. There we go. Yay. All right. Um, so the just saying hello, all right, I just stamped it on some Whisper White cardstock. And what I did with it is, you see this, this smooth side here. Well, all I did was just stamp it and lay the cardstock, lay this on cardstock and zip it through. Well, the cardstock wasn't long enough because I didn't need it to be longer, okay? I needed just a small one. So then I took this. And I'll show you the, here you go. See this one? It's got the stitching all the way around it. All right? As opposed to this one that is longer and the stitching stops on this side. Okay? So what I did, this was also a longer piece. What I did was take this, and I had cut it out this way. Then I pulled it out of my uh, big shot. And then... I lined it up like this, and you can feel, you can feel where these little guys just fit in the groove. Now, I would suggest that you put some washi tape on here, maybe right, take your washi tape and stick it against your clothes and get the sticky, the super sticky off, because when it goes through the die cutting machine, it's going to make it, it it's going to make it stick even more, okay? And sometimes you'll pull up the fibers of the paper. So, you know, run it on your clothes a little bit, get the sticky off, and then put your washi tape on here and run this through on this end, like it's going to feed into your, your big shot this way, all right? And when you feel it connect, just go just a little ways and come back out. You're not going to, you're not going to do the whole thing. And you come out with it being this long. Does that make sense, y'all? I hope so. So basically, you have cut this extra off, and you've added stitching to it. That's why I had this one, just to show you how to create that. Now, the best thing would be if we had the exact size that we needed, but either I didn't take much time looking, or we don't have it. I really don't know, but I needed one this size, or smaller. See? So, I definitely did not... Oh. Yeah, I hadn't glued that one down, apparently. Ha uh ha. -huh. I definitely did not want one this big with a bunch of white or brown space after it. 
Okay, so now I'm going to show you how I got this really cool effect. I'm going to take a little sponge, and I'm going to start with soft suede. Okay, Christina got it. Yay! Okay, I'm going to dip this in my soft suede. And the sponge, you can, there's a lot of ways you can do this, okay? Um, one of these is with these guys. Now, I bought these from Amazon, and it's like driving a car. How fast you want to go, what do you want to pay for, okay? I did not buy, oh, Teresa got it too, thank you. I did not buy the highfalutin ones because I'd never used them before. I wasn't sure if I wanted to, but I'll show you. I'll, I'll use both of them tonight, even though I didn't earlier. So let's start with the sponge. And again, this is um, whatever color I said, crumb cake. This is the lighter of the two browns. So you're going to get some on there, and you're going to start over here and go in a circle motion and just kind of catch up to your card stop, okay? like this all right so we do want to cover it I'm gonna try this one now we want to cover it but not go crazy come on now I might have taken too much off or not gotten enough on there we go so this gives a smoother I don't know if you can really tell I can't tell the difference enough to really say but Anyway, so I'm leaving just some light spots, okay? You don't want to do the whole thing. I'm coming back and I'm making some areas a little darker. Just some. And this is a good way to make things look like leather. Like, um, there's a little suitcase thing I'm going to be teaching y'all probably late July. I've got to order the supplies for it. And it's amazing. And it looks like an antique suitcase, um... It's got straps on it and all this stuff. Anyway, it looks like leather because you look at that and think leather. This, this you just look at distressed. You think distressed. Okay, so there's that color, the crumb cake. And now we're coming back in with soft suede, which is just a little darker brown. I can use my same sponge because this is a lighter brown, but I wouldn't put my dark brown into my light. But I would put my light brown into my dark. There we go. Okay, so this, I'm going to come through here and get a little bit dark. And, and you don't have to be this cheap with your sponge. I just grabbed one out of, the, out of the group, and there you go. Okay, so see how that looks? It looks real vintage-y and old. I love old and vintage. I just love it. I don't I don't know why, but I do. Okay, so that's all I'm going to do to that. Now, I've got um my Savannah son is in the Coast Guard and he gave me some old maps from his ship. He was the guy that read the maps um for a long time. Now he does more, but anyway, um he brought me maps and I will take those maps that have all these um nautical it's nautical maps anyway um i'll take those and distress them like this and use them in some really cool old world looking stuff so cool y'all okay so there's that now let's see what's next let me close this okay i do want to show you let me put this away wherever I put it, right there. Oh, and these were the sti uh, stitch rectangle or rectangle stitch dies, okay? All right, so I'm going to show you how I did these flowers. And if you see, the color is kind of dimensional, right? Um, let me see if I got new comments. Okay, Teresa, me too. Okay, um, Teresa likes vintage -y stuff, too. So you see how the colors kind of fade in and out, okay? Well, I'll show you how I did that. And the cool thing is, I've already colored these and cut them out. So I'm just going to show you the technique here and um, finish this flower. But I've already cut it out because I had to fussy cut it, y'all. I had to fussy cut 
all the things. I, w I, was, I chose this card because I thought I had a die cutting uh, thing for it, but I don't. And maybe I do, but I don't think I do. Okay, so these are the Copic sketch markers that I've been using. And I've told y'all before, Stampin' Up! has um, their own markers, okay? But I did not invest in those. I had already been buying Copics, and um, these are like $7.99 each. And I was buying them each week at Michael's. Every time I went in, I'd use the 40% off, which they used to offer, and they haven't been offering it lately, which I think stinks. So I got them at 40% off, and I'd buy two, three, or four a month. And I got quite a collection. So then Stampin' Up! comes out with alcohol markers, which perfectly match all of our inks. Thank you, Stampin' Up! So not only do you need the alcohol markers of some sort to do this technique, but you need a color lifter. With Copic, it is the zero. Copic is, they, they have a numbering system that is that is just super intelligent. And I used to know it, and now I don't. Um, but it's called a colorless blender, or I call it a color lifter, whatever you want to call it. Um, Stampin' Up! also has one. Now, I don't see any comments after Teresa saying me too. So if anyone else has commented, I'm not seeing it. Okay, so I'm going to take this. Um, this happens to be violet. It's uh, V, like violet, 09. Okay, and I'm just going to color like I'm not even gonna like try to be careful okay and here we go I've almost colored the whole thing but I wanted y'all to see that you don't have to really you know you just throw the color on there okay it doesn't have to be perfect I'm trying to stay in the lines because you know I'm a rule follower okay so here we go like this all right now the cool thing about these stamps with Stampin' Up! in this particular stamp set is the shading lines are all there. When you stamped it, the shading lines are in there. So, do you see those lines? We're all listening very closely. Good, Christina, thank you. I just want to be sure I wasn't missing, missing anybody. Okay, so I just like threw the color down. Now, look at the difference in these two flowers. One has lighter petals, if I can hold it still, right? Okay, so here's how I did it. Took my colorless blender. Now, notice the tip before I get started. Um, it, it's got a little um, stain to it, but if you color with it, it's clear. There's, there's nothing. It's just, I think it's just alcohol coming out. I don't know. A rule follower, are you? <laughs> Well, Christina, some people know the truth. <clears throat> okay, I want to be a rule follower. How about that? Okay, so what I'm going to do here is just go to the edges, and I'm going to go in a circular pattern like this, and I'm lifting the color up. See? Just lifting it up. And I'm just going to this next petal and lifting it up. And I'm just going to keep coloring with it until that color comes off. Try and, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. Nope. Okay. Apparently my, my phone is recording at the top up here. And it doesn't want to play right now. Okay. So you get the idea. You're just lifting, you're just lifting the color. Okay, see the ones that I've done that to? All right, so now I want to show you. This has purple ink on it. Okay, what do I do? I'm just going to scrub it off, and I'm going to keep going until it runs clear. All around, I'm turning it over and over until I'm certain that's clear, that's clear, and that's clear. It, it looks blue or whatever to y'all. But believe me, I can tell the difference in the color. It's it's all off. And that's the colorless blender or the color lifter. It will probably be like a zero or something like that if you go to buy um, markers. And this is the yellow, and we're just going to throw a bunch on there. Boom. 
I mean, that's the cool thing about alcohol markers. But you do want to, you saw I did that just out of habit. I want to be sure there's no purple on the end of this, okay, before I put it back away. Okay, now there's about 300, well, there were, I think, like 350 Copic markers out there. Um, but I'm, I didn't buy that many. I've got, I don't know, maybe 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Okay, I got maybe 100. But like I said, I bought them all on sale. Okay, so these are the little pretties we're going to work with tonight. And first things first, we are going to stamp the background. I got a little cray-cray with this one, y'all. My little blocks, I'm going to try and do better. I don't know if I will or not, but I'm going to try and do better um, with my little blocks. Let's see where I put all of them. Oh, cha-cha-cha. Look at me. Oh, dear. I didn't put them back. Where did I put them? Please hold. I have no idea, y'all. Oh, I do, too. I know where they are. I set them right here on my lazy Susan. Poor Susan. All my Susan friends. I don't know a lazy Susan because my son, my husband, not my son, not my husband, my brother divorced her. That's the only lazy Susan I've ever known in real life. And any other Susan I know has been wonderful. Did I say that out loud? Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> so here we go. We're going to use... Let me get rid of this guy. Yeah, so I stuck my stamps on the lazy Susan and spun it around to get something. Y'all, I redid some stuff in my studio, and I'm so happy, and I've been real creative ever since. So I'm real happy about that. Okay, I'm going to stamp these with soft suede. Just going to bite the bullet. Oh, but wait. I'm going to do my mossy meadow. Yeah, I'm going to do that one first. Oh, okay, so I saw online the other day got to put those stamps but I know right because I was like oh I'll leave them out and show you know when I do my thing and then I couldn't find them so when once I showed y'all how to open these I mean you can open it this way and once you start working with it it works really well that way and the other way is pressing on this and it pops it open well I saw this way the other day pop it right there boom I kind of like that it kind of if you squeeze pretty good, it just pops right open like it can't wait to stamp. That's what I like. Okay, so here we go. Got this, and I'm, oh, you wanna know what color? Um, mossy Meadow. Mossy Meadow on Whisper White. See, I told y'all, this right here was white. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see. We're gonna go way over like this. Then we're going to go like that, and then pretty much like that, and then like this, and then I think I'm just going to go ahead and put one there, okay? All right, and where's my cleaner? Please hold. I got it. Yeah, here it is. Okay, this is the um, Simply Chamois, and I know it looks terrible, but Dang Skippy, it cleans like you would not believe. I know it's wet, but that's okay. I happen to be wearing black leggings. All right, so here we go. How many times have I said, here we go? Everybody take a sip when I say, here, you go. here we go. All right. I almost said it again. Okay. So, I know that my little flowers are going to go here as soon as I find them again. <laughs> I've covered them up, y'all. I get so excited. No, here they are. <laughs> I know that they're going to go like this, right? Well, that one, I think he's been out there sipping on the something. Okay, there we go. They're going to go like that. That's kind of pretty right there. I mean, dang Skippy, if you just want to leave it. Is that Forever Fern set? This one is Tasteful Touches. Um, it's got that flower. It's got this that we're about to use. These are the, um, oops, this is the sentiment, just saying hello. 
Um, it's got a feather. It's got this little guy that I just used. Here he is. And um, the sentiments and then this little thing. Yeah. Okay. Now. All right. We are done with the Mossy Meadow. So we can put that away. <laughs> Watch me need it in five minutes. <laughs> Michelle, I'm cracking me up, too. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. All right. So, <laughs> what color? What color are we, people? Soft suede. Yes, we're going to do soft suede, and then we're going to do crumb cake. I think. All right, this little stamp here, I have no idea. It's just a bunch of flowers. Can y'all see that? I'll show you close up in a minute. All right, here we go. I'm going to put it over here to the side. Oh, poo. I've already screwed up. And then I'm going to put it, I think I'll put it right here. See, I want it straight up and down, y'all. Okay, this one, I've, I've already had a love-hate with that today. So let, let, me, let me practice a little bit. I want this to go straight across or up and down, okay? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Whew. Now, I have two options. I can st stamp off and then stamp onto my cardstock to see the difference in the darker and lighter if I, if I so desired. Sorry, you might have told us and I was not paying attention. Thanks. I have no idea what we're talking about. Okay, so here we go. Boom. And boom. Ah. And boom. And then we're going to go this way, and we're going to go that way, and then down here, and then maybe right here. How about that? Now, see, you're going, what is that, people? I don't know. Then we're going to go over here, and I want to go down here. I'm not going quite as crazy on this as I did the first one, the one that I was showing y'all how to do. Okay, so that was the soft suede. All right, so now we're going with crumb cake. And let me grab a different sponge. Cha-cha-cha. Got one. Okay. I have no idea where that little song came from. It's, it's always in my head. I do it, y'all, seriously, when I'm not even... Oh, the stamp set. Yes, I don't think I did, Christina. Um... I, when I'm in here cre creating by myself, I hear cha cha cha, and I realize that was me. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here we go. I'm starting kind of around like this, kind of like this. I'm just kind of vintaging this thing up. <laughs> Y'all hear it? <laughs> it squeakings. It squeakins. Oh, I got to tell y'all a story while I'm doing this. Okay. And this is a true story. Don't tell anybody. We may or may not have a shooting range at Six Little Acres, which is where we live. So when Ninja Man, if we had a shooting range, when Ninja Man, if he were to go out to shoot... Um, Winston, Sir Winston poops a lot, my dog, Boston Terrier, if y'all don't know him, that's his real name, Sir Winston poops a lot. No, he's not registered, we just named him that. Um, anyway, I wanted him to have something noble in his name, but not so much that he's uppity, so we had to throw in poops a lot after Sir Winston. Okay, so... If Ninja Man were to go out and shoot on the shooting range, Sir Winston poops a lot begins to shiver until he is literally vibrating. Like, I've never known an animal to, to get that excited, upset, whatever you want to call it. Never, I mean, I've had animals my whole life. Now, I get it that, you know, dogs are upset with fireworks and stuff like that. And we've had him... This is his fourth year, 
And really, we've just not been in a situation where there's been a lot of fireworks, but there's a lot of shooting that goes on around us because we're out in, the, out in the country. A few of y'all have visited us at Six Little Lakers, and you know where we are. Um, and we do hear shooting, and when we do, oh, bless his heart, poops a lot, just can't handle it, y'all. Just cannot handle it. Okay, crumb cake. We're done with that one. Okay, so... He climbs up on me, and he just, he's right here, and he's just shaking. <laughs> Caitlin and Casey, hey there, you guys. I'm so excited about, about all the preparation that I'm seeing on Facebook with y'all's weddings. My goodness. Okay, so I'm going to place these two like this. I'm going to put them down with glue. And, um, anyway, so he shakes so bad and his daddy has to come in and comfort him. True story. Mm -hmm. If his daddy even opens the gun safe, Sir Winston poops a lot, just runs in terror to me. It's so sad. So here's what we do now. If there's going to be loud boom booms, then daddy comes and tells me, and I sit down and I snuggle poor Sir Winston. I'll snuggle him so that he doesn't have to be afraid. I just stop what I'm doing today. I was crafting, and for probably 45 minutes, I just, um, oh, Tris is going to bed. Okay, but I stopped what I was doing, and I held him. Okay, it's time to say goodnight, Tris. Everybody tell Tris good night. Good night, Tris. Good night, Mary Ellen. Good night, Tris. Good night, Grandpa. Good night, Tris. John Boy, what's wrong with your voice? <laughs> good night, Tris. Y'all say good night. Okay, so I'm going to pop this one up on the um, Stampin' Dimensionals. I hope you rest well tonight, Tris. Natalie says the card is beautiful. Thank you, Natalie. She's so sweet. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this wanted to be used because it came right off. It was like, take me, take me. Oh, Michelle says goodnight, Tris. Christina gets to call him babe, y'all. Are we jealous? And Lisa says goodnight, and Tris is blowing a kiss. So I hope you sleep well, Tris, and I hope you feel real good in the morning. All right, so I'm putting these Stampin' Dimensionals on. They're just on the back of this little guy. Aren't y'all glad y'all have to sit and watch me cut this out? See how much I love y'all. And color the whole thing. Oh, Teresa says goodnight, Tris. Okay, so we're just going to put that one like that. So they're just a little off kilter from one another. They're not perfect. It's not like boom, boom, and boom. It's just kind of, you know, just a little different. All right, now I want to show y'all the two, three different ways that I looked at doing this. And Teresa says goodnight. Okay, I think I already said that. Sorry about that. Okay, so here's the three ways that I looked at doing this. We're going to go ahead and mount this on the black. And I love I love what the black does to the rest of the card. Um, well, I thought I had a good example, but I don't right here. Well, kind of do. This one, how it it just kind of makes the, the color pop a little bit. And um, this one, this one has a little brown edge around it. And it just kind of brings the browns together. Um, oh, hey, Christina. So cool. I didn't know Stampin' Up! had acrylic stamps. I love the ink pad where the lid doesn't come off. I'd love to have a scrapbook studio. Okay, Christina, we need to talk. Aiden and... and Little guy, good night. Love you guys. Yeah, Christina, we need to chat. Cause um I can I can totally totally help you with that. 
And I don't mean selling you stuff. I'm talking about, I mean, my girls know I'll do a video, I'll show you stuff, whatever. I just love to teach people stuff. Okay, so we're going to add this right now. And right now is when you would want to go ahead and put on ribbon or anything like that because this layer is going to be glued to that layer. Or you might you might want your ribbon to go around both and then be mounted. I don't know. But this is when you think about that kind of thing when you're designing. Oh, and don't be too impressed with this design. I cased it. What is case? Copy and share everything. C-A-S-E. It's a, a chrononym. <laughs> Acronym. <laughs> ah. All right. Here we go. If Angela is still here, she went, what? When I said a chrononym. <laughs> okay. So I have the um, soft suede. No. This is, yeah. Soft suede and crumb cake and uh, whisper white cards to mount this on so this was my original idea and then I'm like I just don't think I love it yes the black makes it more vibrant it pops it out a bit so I mean this will do but I just think it needs to be more antique -y than that so then I said "Ooh, what about soft suede and then I'm like that's kind of making me sad it's a little sad I'm not loving it Boom. And then, how about crumb cake? Cha-cha-cha. Boom. We have a winner, ladies and gentlemen. We have a winner. So, that is the winning one. And now, I'm going to put this on. And y'all know, I love my Tombow liquid glue. Now, I'll tell you this, too. I've been buying it at um, Michael's. But with my discount with Stampin' Up, it's the same price. So boo. So booyah. Okay, and also, if you're making a landscape card, you know, it would go this way, which this could actually go that way, but I didn't make it that way, so let's don't. But before you put your card together, make sure... <laughs> I did. I'm cranking out ornate garden die cuts. Yay, Angela! How about early espresso instead? Oh, hey, Carolyn. Yes, early espresso would look amazing with this. Yes, yes. Um, and let's see now. I did use black in the in the um the greeting in the sentiment, so that will bring it together. And I did use black on the um on these two. But if I were going with early espresso instead of this black layer here. I would probably stamp this in uh, black and these in espresso. Probably. Okay, so I got ink here. You always want to make sure which way your card opens. Ask me how I know. All right. And one more time. If you want all the things, you can join Stampin' Up! tonight or tomorrow. The last day. The last day of June is... That's it. You'll get 20% off everything you buy. But when you join, it's $99. $99. You get $125 worth of your choice. And you get me, yay, at your beck and call. And um, you also get to choose any bundle in the catalog. Um, Christina, um, Christina from Fervent Girls. I got two Christinas on here, but my fervent girl, Christina. Um, let me know if you want a Stampin' Up! catalog just to drool over or dream over or order from or whatever, and I'll get one to you. Um, but tomorrow's the last day to join, and the die would be any stamps with... It, it's a bundle. It's a stamp set with die cut, with, a, um, with dies, or a stamp set with, punch, with a punch or punches, I don't know, um, any of them in the catalog, okay? And you would get to see the um, holiday mini catalog that just came out for us demonstrators um, last Wednesday. Okay, so here we go. That's on there. And now we are going to put our sentiment. Oh, dear. It's a little big. Let's use this little guy. 
Oh, come on. I got a little crazy. I got a little crazy with my with my bad self. Hold on. Please hold. Now, you see the solution here. I'm Oh, dear. All right, not a good solution, but um if I had used if I had used snail adhesive, which is this, but I've been having trouble with this because it's not real snail and I didn't want to use it tonight. What I would do where it's glued down right here, I could just huff on it with hot air. Mm -hmm. Girlfriend has hot air and I could make it come apart. But no, I use Tombow, which is a serious glue. Serious. But I can still be very careful. I'm pre I do not recommend doing this, but in other words, do not try this at home. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I love to make mistakes while y'all are on here. Sounds great to me. I've not scrapped since I moved up here. I'm very behind. Sweet. Case. To, yes. It would be great to see, and I'll probably do all the above. She's really there for her team. Oh, thank you, Christina. Yes. Um, or the green you use might be nice, too. Yes. You know, Christina Christina Myers. Um, yeah, I, I think I would like to play around with all those colors. Uh, Carolyn also with the espresso. And uh, Christina from my Bible study. Get with me and let me get uh let me get some stuff to you. We'll talk. I may even have some stuff to share. Okay, so see, chop. I don't even know. I don't even know if it's gonna fit. I don't know. All right. <gasps> Look, it does. Wah, 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 wah. All right, there we go. I still have a little boo-boo right here because you know, boo-boos. They happen. Oh, what is this on the back? Did Kathy Bow mess up first? Oh, I sure did. When I made this one to show y'all, I just went ahead and made the next one. I did. I, I, I can't even. I can't even, y'all. And and I was like trying to get it all done and all that. And I looked down and thought, well, dingy, they're not going to know how to do it if you go ahead and make it for them. Dang, Skippy. So what I had to do was, boop. Start over. Oh, and uh, Christina from Bible Study. I am on most, almost every Monday night right here at 8 p.m. So you don't want to miss it. Sometimes sometimes it's a little cray-cray. And there's no admission price. Yay! Oh, poo. Look at that. All right, one thing about this glue, y'all, it makes me nuts because I hate to get it on my hands, but now it's on my hands. So I'm committed. Hold on. I know this, this is a hot mess. Hot mess coming through. There we go. Woohoo! Woohoo! Did y'all see that arm going up and down? I'm so proud of myself. It's fun to watch and listen. Oh, oh, you don't even know the, the half of it. First of all, I got to tell y'all, I got to tell Christina, my Bible study friend, um, because of, of um, okay, because this is the thing. Christina Meyer's husband, Tris, he's on here. Put some bling on it. Yeah, baby. Let's look at some bling. Um, so I'll tell you this while I'm getting some bling out. Um, her husband has to go to bed early. And he's on here with us. Oh, those are snowflakes. We don't want snowflakes. There's enough of them in the news. Okay. So, <laughs> Tris is on here with us. And he has to go to bed early. So, um, basically we do a whole good night Tris routine and, and now this is, this is for, um, for my friend Christina from Bible study cause she's new here tonight. Welcome. Um, yeah. So, so he has to go to bed early. So we all tell him good night and it's a lot of fun because we usually go good night Tris and he goes good night Mary Ellen, which he doesn't really do that, but I do that because you know. Oh, Christina, yes, putting some bling on it. Now, here's the thing with bling, y'all. You can do one, or you can do three. You see the one? Bling, 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 bling. Whoop, whoop. Okay, you can do one, but don't do two. Don't do four. Do one or three or five. Okay, it's just a rule. Somebody who does flowers came up with that. We're going to use a big one. Oh, and I want to show you this. What if, hold on, I'm going to put that one right there. What if we have 
Where's my purple? Please hold. Oh, poo. Come on now. Where's my purple? Oh. Got it. Yay. Alcohol markers are your friend. All right? You take the alcohol marker and you go doodly do like this. And you let that bad boy dry a little bit. You see? See that? The purple one. All right. You let it dry a little bit longer than I just did. And you go pop it up. And then you can put it. Let's see where we want this. How about, oh, now they do a triangle thing. So to make it more interesting. Hmm. Okay, y'all. I, 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 it takes me a while when I'm doing bling. But I'm just going to do that. Look how beautiful that purple blingy bling is. <laughs> Teresa, I'm so glad it grew back. Me too, girl. I was actually thinking about where you lifted the flower, but you fixed. But I'm always happy with bling. Oh, 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 oh. Put the bling right there. You know what? It's not too late. Oh, I like that. Now, see me moving my bling around? There you go. Love it. Now, if I wanted to go a little cray-cray, I could also take the pink that I used and make some pink bling and put that around, that kind of thing. But like I said, you go with three or you go with five. One, three, or five. And now I kind of wish I'd colored these. Let me see. Oh, oh, y'all, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do I, I tell y'all what, sometimes I just go rogue. Sometimes I just go rogue. Let me get pink. Hold on. Hold on. Don't get excited. Here we go. All right, this pink will do. It's called Deep Magenta. Deep Magenta. Why well, keep wanting to say Mangenta? Deep Magenta. All right, hold on. Hold on. Here we go. Boop. Oh, y'all. Okay, that is gorgeous right there. Don't y'all think that's gorgeous? Amazing! Okay, okay, okay. Maybe I'll leave... Mm, no, I want it to be green. Uh-oh. Here we go. Y'all, she's gone crazy. Hold on, hold on. It's gonna be green. Now, you. okay, I'm not using... I've got markers for the water-based inks. I'm not using those. Is this water? Hold on. I have no idea, but it's not alcohol ink. It's water-based. That's what it says right there. Water-based ink aronis. All right. You don't you can't really color these with water-based and have it stay on to my knowledge. But if you use the alcohol inks, oh my word, that is so pretty. Christina Myers, you got me going. You got me going. All right, all right, all right. Here we go. Hold on. Hold everything. <gasps> Look how pretty. Oh, y'all. Can't we just talk about how pretty this is? Look at that. It's just beautiful. I love it. We got the pink to go with the pink. We got the purple to go with the purple. And we got the green to go with the green. Doggone, what else do we need? An envelope? Did I hear you say an envelope? Fun. Please hold. Oh, look, I happen to have one that almost matches. Wait, wait, don't, don't go. Hold on, please. Oh, snap. Here it comes. Here it comes. Okay, this one matches perfectly. Y'all, I'm so out of whisper white envelopes. Okay, so thank you, Michelle. It is pretty, isn't it? And like I said, I case this design, so I can't really take a whole lot of credit. But if I wanted to bling this out, I could. If I were going to hand deliver it, man, I would make it so special, so pretty. I would cut out some flowers. I'd put a bunch of bling because now I'm like addicted to coloring these with alcohol markers. I used to do it a long time ago. And then I got my arms snapped off. I don't even know. And then I had to grow it back and I forgot most everything I've ever learned. Yeah. It's all coming back to me, y'all. Okay. So... <laughs> Rehab is a wonderful thing. It's a wonderful thing. You should try it. Okay, so <laughs> we could make a real pretty envelope here. And also, I would line it. Like, I would I would do the um, 
the Whisper White, this whole technique that I showed you here, and make just a liner for the envelope. It'd be so pretty. I guess um, I probably need to demonstrate how I line envelopes. But we've been on here an hour and 10 minutes. And I think I've taken enough of y'all's time. But I'm loving it tonight. Yay! So, um, Christina, with Fervent, my Bible study girlfriend, get with me, PM me. I don't know what DM is, but people are DMing. Is that direct message? Somebody tell me, because I don't have a teenager in the house. And am I saying something ugly if I say DM? I don't even know. I don't even know. Um, but yeah, uh, Christina, Bible study friend, send me a note and let me know uh, what you want to do. And um, we will get together some way, somehow. Everybody else, thank you. Christina Myers, give Tris a big hug from all the girls from Monday Fun Days. And I will see y'all next Monday. And I'm going to come up with some new things because I can. <laughs> all right. Love you guys. Thank you so much. Toodles. God bless.